Hello, my name is Habib Rahman. I am an application engineer in Maxim Integrated. In this video, I will discuss about four switch bug boost converter operation and I will give a brief introduction to Maxim products in four switch bug boost converter topology. The circuit diagram of a four switch bug boost converter is shown. It is similar to an H bridge converter with four switches. Based on the input and output voltage, the state of each switch changes. When the input voltage is higher than the output voltage, Q1 and Q2 will be switching. Q3 will be always on and Q4 will be always off. Now, the topology changes to buck mode and step down the input voltage. When the input voltage is less than the output voltage, Q1 will be always off and Q2 will be always on. Q3 and Q4 will be switching. Now the topology changes to boost mode and step up the input voltage. When the input voltage is near to the output voltage, all four MOSFETs will be switching. In short, the four switch buck boost converter can operate either as a buck converter or as a boost converter depends upon the input voltage. Main advantage with four switch buck boost converter is that it gives non-inverting output voltage compared to a conventional buck boost converter and it has lesser number of reactive components compared to a SEPIC converter. These waveforms demonstrate the operation of a four switch buck boost converter. The input voltage, output voltage and the gate drive pulses of four MOSFETs are shown. When the input voltage is reduced from 24 volt to 0 volt, you can see that the output voltage remains constant. Operating mode of the converter changes from buck mode to boost mode. Now, let us compare the voltage gain of a conventional buck boost or SEPI converter with a four switch buck boost converter. Voltage gain is the ratio of output voltage to input voltage. A high voltage gain is desired for a boost converter as it can boost a small input voltage. Similarly, a low voltage gain is important for a buck converter as it can step down high input voltages. Voltage gain versus duty cycle curve is shown for a buck boost and conventional buck boost converter. From the graph, we can see that for the same duty cycle, boost converter has the desired higher gain compared to a conventional buck boost converter. Similarly, for the same duty cycle, buck converter has the desired lower gain compared to a conventional buck boost converter. As the four switch buck boost converter works either in buck mode or boost mode, it has a superior voltage gain property compared to a conventional buck boost or SEPI converter. As a result of this, four switch buck boost converters can handle a wider input voltage range compared to a conventional buck boost or SEPI converter. These are the few four switch buck boost converter ICs available with Maxim. Internal switch and external switch options are available. For more details about these products, visit our website. Web links of these products are given in the video description below. Thank you.